What's up folks? Welcome back to X4. I'm Daily Fix and today we're going to do several things. Now, as you can see, around over here um, is where the defensive station is going to be. Uh, unfortunately, it is still missing computer substrate, which is somewhat annoying. Um, but there is going to be a way which I hope we can fix it. Now, you can also see that uh, uh, some of my stations have been very, very unfortunate and have just fallen victim to the uh, Xenon. Now, uh, like I said, we're going to be changing that. As you can see, there are two of my ships, finally. Uh, we're going to be setting these two up as... Dear visitors, we are experiencing some minor surges in our power grid. Please excuse any inconveniences. Uh, that, that's fine, we forgive you. Uh, we're going to be setting these two up as uh, the support of eights. So we're going to be um, attacking with Commander Alpha. Now, this is going to be our very first fleet. Uh, we're going to be calling this. Let us rename this. Where are you? Renaming? Uh, rename. Um, defense. Defensive. Um... Oh god, defense, whatever. I probably typed wrong. It's now defense, whatever. Uh, <laughs> lead one. <laughs> Sorry for that. My English, guys. I know I speak it, but, you know, typing for me is, is... Oh, I did not want to do that. Oh, no. I didn't want to change the name of the ship. Where's the logbook? Okay, so, okay, here we go again. Rename. I don't want to rename this. I like the name. It's the, um, the, the, uh, one, son, song, one song. There you go. Confirm that. Now, uh, let us, where's the other information? So, so the information... Okay, mind maybe... The gap. Okay, never mind. Let's get out the heck out of this station because it's it's getting me insane. Don't need that. Rapier. Go here. Get out of my seat. Hello. <laughs> I Get out. Let's get out. Um, let's go undock. Um, oh, what an ominous music. But at least it does not give me... Any of the other grief. Um, it should probably stop. Let's just dock over here while looking at some of these ships and modules. I don't know why the uh, the ominous music is there. Uh, because we are currently not fighting. So, whatever. Let's not change the fleet. I'll do that in my own time. Now, we're going to be sending this one fleet over towards Getso Foon. And when it arrives... So, we're going to be attack target in range. Probably something around here. I'm kind of hoping that three ships is going to be enough. But, we need to wait until they actually are there. Now, we, we do get money. We do get money if you look into... Where is my tax station? It's, it's not, a, not a whole lot. It is not a whole lot. And I might change the prices. Um, just a bit lower, so we'll sell more. Uh, because, uh, um, by the end of the day, it is also about sales. It, it will generate you a good, um, relation income. Also, my, uh, my energy plant here was absolutely destroyed. You know, uh, it, it takes us a lot of money here. As you can see, computer substrate is can Look at these amounts. That is just sick. I don't like to see that at all. Now, it will go back over time. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we need to defend our station. As for this, eventually this will come here. We'll see. I got a plan for that. Um, now, we have been mindlessly selling our stuff without any actual consequences. And we're going to be changing that. We're going to be setting a automatic sell amount. So if it the amount comes above that set amount we uh, are going to sell that and 
There you go, that's 10,000. And we'll do... I don't know if 10,000 is what I... But at least it gives us a bit of a minimum. We will always have some materials uh, left somewhere which we can just get. Uh, station overview. Um, no restrictions. Sell order. Go back also up to 10,000. Uh, automatic selling price. Change you to 10,000 as well. Whole parts factory, station overview. Uh, we'll have a lot of these things over here. So you are already at 10,000. Uh, let's put you all the way up to 10,000. And if I did do, if I did this earlier on, that would have been way better. But I'm kind of clueless sometimes, and I do forget these things. Uh, we do need to make sure that we always have materials hand which we can use for ourselves now we're not going to do this with our trade station but with all of the other stations uh, we are going to do this um, you have a sell order let's put you up to 10,000 there you go uh, are you restricted no that's good protein paste I, I kind of feel that we need a trade station over here as well I kind of feel that um, my accent has changed again. I don't know why. Um, maybe I'm overcompensating. I don't know. Uh, where's the stimulants? Actually, oh, actually, here's the stimulants, of course. Um, the Terran MREs. Let's put you up on 10,000 as well. Uh, we'll do the same with medical supplies. Eventually, we'll just set these back to my empire only. But, well, we needed the money. We needed the money, and that is the main reason... I decided on uh, on selling these things. Uh, you. Everything above 10,000 is good. Thank you. Uh, we are producing these ourselves, I think. Are we not? No uh, criminal identified. Please assist in pursuit. I don't know. Maybe this is not a good idea because we are not producing. Remove that sell order. We have to change that to some of the other factions as well. Or uh, the other factories. Let's go 10,000. Uh, stimulants over here as well. Uh, that's the price. Let's go. Ooh. 10,000. And hopefully this will help with uh, station construction. Uh, if not, it's fine. It is fine. We'll just have to wait a bit longer. But what I don't want is that my ships are in the back of the line for this. Uh, you don't have a sell order. You have a buy order. Dude, like that. I don't need buy orders. Go away, dude. I definitely set that up wrong. Uh, hull part factory. Are we making... Yeah, we are producing, so that's good. Uh, silicon factory. Yeah, you drop your cargo, hun. You go do that. Nothing over there. Silicon is still lacking, but we are lacking... Uh, we don't lack ships over there. Silicon really is a problem for the Terrans now, isn't it? That is really annoying. I kind of hope that eventually that will be fixed. But I, I highly doubt it. Did we do this station? The computer substrate doesn't look like it. Let's go put you up to... 10,000. That's a lot. Do we need more storage over here? Do we just have too much hydrogen and other... Supplies without resources. Okay, well, that's not helping. Let's go over here as well. And we'll go... 10,000. No restriction for the others. Uh, Clay Phronic. Oh, there's a bunch over here. Definitely a sell order. Uh, automatic sell price above 10,000. These are not being produced. Silicon wafers. 10,000. We might need to add more storage. And I just do 10,000, which uh, we can always drag this up towards the middle. But it's fine so far. Uh, maybe we will resupply our trade station more then. Um, I kind of hope that is the case because these things are now for free. And the others are just being sold. 
Okay, not enough restore. Okay, we definitely have way too much stuff. Can't even add these sell prices. Electronics. Let's set this up to... Can't even set this up to 10,000. Oh, we definitely need more storage in this. And make sure that that's all set up. Or we'll have to do that uh, in another area. Let's take a look over here. Energy cells. Amount. Yeah, we kind of don't need to change these. Because these will produce a geometric ton of resources. Uh, are we getting stuff over here? Not yet. Which is very unfortunate. And my fleet is heading over here. These two will come there first. I kind of need a gladius for myself. I kind of want... A, a ship in which we can do some missions and uh, with missions I'm, I'm talking about let's start the Xeon mission uh, did we buy that gladius I kind of think we did let's teleport to and um, we're going to be setting this rapture um, back into Mars. dock and wait over there because I do need it uh, let's take a look Okay, so we got ourselves... I kind of don't like that we have to go to walk around this entire thing. But, oh well. Big look. Please don't let the station talk to me. It is so damn cool. I love these wings though. Speaking of something cool, um, on Discord there was a video posted about a Star Wars mod. For X4. Now that, I think is absolutely cool. Absolutely cool. Gladius. Okay, you yeah, get Whoa. out of my seat. Yeah, that's my seat. Get out. Can I help? No, you can get the hell out. Um, good Sorry. boy. Go here. That's my ship. Uh, let's undock. Uh, let's get control. And now, what we want to do is there are missions. There are definitely missions. Let's go slow. So, in map, there's mission management. I kind of need these mission offers. And the Terran versus the Xenon. Let's accept this. Where do you want us to go? Okay. So, guidance is already set. And we're going to be flying this ourselves. Accelerator. Let's go. Asteroid belt. It gives us something to do while we wait. Uh, how are the weapons, actually? Oh yeah, I kind of don't like these um, these locked weapons. I should have changed them, but it is what it is. Uh, we do we want to change that, and we'll wait until we actually get into this. Uh, shall we turn off the... Uh, actually... Yeah, let's go like this. Although it is nice, it is nice, but it feels cramped. I don't know what you... Go How do you guys fly your ships? I usually do like this, because I, I like the, the entire feel of the game. There's so many ships here. Is that, is that loot? Uh, I'm overshooting again, of course. I was trying. You see, sometimes these uh, these ships by themselves, they, they do really good work at steering into these contraptions. Let's call them contraptions. Because I can't find the name of it. I think they're jump gates. Yeah, probably. I'm also um, looking into Elite Dangerous. I've never done that, actually. I've never looked into that game. Uh, uh, what is your opinion about Elite Dangerous? It is space, it's exploration, and there is a lot of stuff asteroid going on. Belt. What the hell is this? Oh, it's an asteroid belt. Okay, that makes sense. There was something I needed to do. Okay, yeah, I'm, I remember now. Uh, let's go to Ship Info, and let's put these... Um, I think these are the streamers which I want on the second. Yeah, like that. We can flip with the numeral keys. I kind of hope that my ships do arrive there pretty shortly. Uh, we could try to attack these guys. There is definitely some combat we can do. But we'll get the mission first and see where they want us to go. Oh, there's more ships. There is my ships. Okay, guys, I I, um, I have to admit, did this if this goes wrong, it will cost me 120 million. <laughs> so I kind of don't want it to be wrong. Uh, because I, I don't want to have the great game running again uh, for such a long damn time. I completely overshot here. Requesting immediate backup. 
Autopilot. That's the Engage. autopilot for now because I'm I'm kind of occupied with this. I know my ships are getting hit quite heavily, and we should assign small ships to these. They, if you look at loadout, uh, you can see they they could actually. It's not in loadout, is it? No, it is in info. Disengaged. Eight docked ships. So we can give them eight small ships each and just fight like gladiuses. So one, two. Okay, so that's eight, 16, and 24. Requesting immediate backup. And there we go. We actually have arrived over here. Now, while we do stay here, we will defend this region with probably our lives. I think it is time that we go ahead and manage plot. We're going to be putting down a small plot. And it's going to be bloody expensive. Probably try to get this as close as possible. There you go. Buy the damn license and continue. Now, we need a docking port. I don't need an admin station on this. It is Terran. It will remain Terran. And this is too small. Uh, never mind, we need a larger dock. I want large ships to be able to dock here. Uh, let's go back. Go back. Yes, please. And go. This is the wrong area. This is the Getsufun one. Awaiting orders. Uh, 2.6. Okay, now it should be long enough. There we go. Uh, let's zoom out and uh, we'll start this time with the No, we'll stay with the medium with the, the smaller docks first and We'll move you up And get this one in there as well and get ourselves a I used to do three because of uh, storage If we want storage, it's kind of nice to have it like this now, with that done, uh, kind of thing. Do we need storage on this? Uh, but I, uh, I don't think so. Let's go with a disc. Make this look a bit nice. And we can do a bridge. Not like that, no. This. And uh, we'll copy this. Do one more. You have to wait until the lines appear. Sometimes it is a bit I annoying. Was asked to drop my cargo. A copy module, go there and can we add Yeah we we can, we definitely can. It's going to be quite weird looking, but that's fine. There you go. Copy module over there. And copy module over there. And over here. I think this, for a first station, is going to be enough. But we don't, we lack height. And I say we lack height because currently only the front row would be able to fire. But for now, I think it's going to be enough. We're going to put high preset on the entire damn station. So... This should have high preset on everything, right? Do I have to do this one by one? Please don't tell me I have to do this one by one. Oh, you got to be bloody kidding. Why doesn't it do high preset? It doesn't do all of them, do you see that? It just skips a few, why? Okay, let's go. We'll, we'll do this once and we can do a... Do like this. You, I want maximum. Maximum. Uh, let's save this as... Uh, max. Save as new. There we go. So this now is maximum. Even though these are, are Mark 2s, eventually we'll change that. Not right now. Uh, so confirm the loadout changes. And I want to... You have to absolutely do all of them myself. You got to be kidding. 
Uh, no. Confirm, load of changes. Let's take a look at the bridges. They definitely don't have everything. Hi. Oh, man, that is annoying. Come on, game. What are you doing? Why do you do this? I know we should do the uh, the sliders as well, and we will. Right now. That is really awkward. That's weird, right? If I say maximum, you would assume it is going maximum. Okay, looks like all of them. Let's save this as max. Save as new, thank you. Confirm loader changes. Did they change that over here as well? No, oh god, that is annoying. Um... That really is annoying. Let's go. Okay, you. Max. Confirm. Is there a way? Can we just s select all of them, perhaps? No? Of course not. Why would I assume it, they made it easy on us? We will need a buttload of stuff to actually get this base up and running. So that's four. It's going to be five. Confirm. Uh, that was the first bridge, I assumed. So, no, the second bridge. Maximum. I want so much firepower on these that they don't even send in this damn K-Destroyers. Now, we can actually manage a K-Destroyers. As long as they don't send in, like, five, we should be fine. Let's go max on this. That is really awkward. I was asked to drop my cargo. I know you would ask to drop your cargo. And you will comply because that is what I told you to do. And I should turn off the message. But I haven't done that at all. Okay, so. Money and builders. No builder is required for any of these confirmed changes. Now, let's confirm this then. <laughs> Maybe now it should have actually worked a lot better to do this. Uh, but I'm an idiot. We know this. Um, let's uh, assign... Oh, 42 million. <sighs> let's not give everything to it just yet. Let's accept um, just a bunch. Because if we get destroyed, that's going to be awkward. Uh, we need... I would like to use a Terran ship for this. And there we go. Close the menu. And my vassals should be over here. Now, they are definitely damaging some of these stations. And let's go ahead towards property owned. Go to my defensive fleet. And what we can do is assign a few ships to trade for building depot. Can we protect until further notice? They will protect this station, this plot. Let's go ahead and get some trade ships over here. You, I will get three. Medium, Baltic, Easy Freighter, add to shopping list. Actually, we'll add six. It's fine. We will always need them. And do we still have money? We do. Do we have money that we can get out of our stations? I've not checked in at least five minutes. That's actually costing me more. See this, see this. That's just disgusting. Uh, we definitely got some money here. Not all of them. Now, what you can do is just get in your small ship. And just enable your SATA. Or your SATA. Things done. Yeah, we did. We got like eight million in the few mil in a few seconds. We checked this station. I'm not sure. I'm too keen on it. It made two thousand, two hundred thousand. It looks like the profit is going down. So I would assume by going to station overview and dropping all of this down just a bit, like especially with the oils here that are just not selling. 
just a tiny bit as long as you you want to stay in charge of things sometimes you do need to check these things out and see if you can make more money just by asking a bit less now we're just a storage oh we are requesting immediate backup of course drop it down quite a bit engine parts and you have to play around with these there is no like because you are a player your galaxy will change and whatever you do will affect the galaxy and it is therefore very important that you sometimes do check if the prices you set up are good enough plasma conductor still not a max if we see something like hit max shield components spices we'll just drop the price a tiny bit and hopefully this will start generating a buttload of trade there you go we'll just see what happens and whether or not more star ships will go towards these stations yes or no okay let's go over maintenance vessel our ship is in a bad way can you stop now please i don't know who the hell you are mate Yep, you are definitely in a bad way. Docking granted. Let's go over here and let's uh, tune in for the defensive missions of Terran. And that will bring us into what some would call a, a sort of like a war campaign. Uh, but I would assume that a war campaign is something you'll start by yourself. So when we are strong enough and when we can actually do everything we can do docked. for the Terran Empire... Why do I call it the Terran Empire? Why can it's I not get through this? I probably should probably... Yeah, I could do it like this. Okay, I love the ship, but... <laughs> sometimes it is a bit annoying to navigate. Don't... Thanks for your help. That was rude. Just a little something is thanks. Yeah, I'm... St I was almost thanks stuck. There. I'm really... <laughs> could you just let me in? For frick's sake. There you go. Is he on War Room? I love that they actually made us in on war room for that. Oh yeah. Here we are. Pilot, always good to see a new recruit. Yeah. I am in charge of coordinating the Terran Protectorate's response to the Xenon threat. My priorities are twofold. To keep the soul system safe from all harm and to direct the intervention core towards the enemy hold up in the furthest reaches of the universe. The military would not have approached you if you weren't a friend of the Protectorate. Xenon forces are vast, so we are always in need of manpower. Since it is our mission to seek out all Xenon strongholds, our military campaigns regularly push into hostile territory far away from any possible support. Because of this, we can only recruit the most capable pilots. You will have to submit to a test. Your race and former affiliations do not matter, as long as you swear allegiance to our cause. Now that is very awkward for the Terrans to say. Your race and affiliations don't matter, uh, considering the Terrans just want to keep everyone out. So what kind of job can I expect? You will be granted the choice of many tasks, from combat deployments to construction work. What is available will depend on the current situation in the area. You will be paid as you complete your allotted tasks, and we may see fit to reward you further at the conclusion. Okay, so what can you tell me about the conflict? I see you want to know exactly what it is that you are signing up for. The Xenon were originally mere terraforming tools, intended to further our reach into the universe. However, their artificial general intelligence eventually caused them to grow out of control. Now, their hostile presence permeates the universe, and they have long been the most destructive, lethal menace of all, threatening to snuff out all life. Uh, what will you do? Unfortunately, the community of planets has proven, again and again, that they are incapable of keeping the Xenon in check themselves. So it is left up to us to eradicate the Xenon. To effectively achieve that, we cannot restrict ourselves to their notions of borders and sovereignty. This threat is bigger than petty politics. 
Besides, if they were more competent, we would not have to do their job for them. Are we done here? <laughs> Let's get started. Excellent. You will now find tasks related to our ongoing campaign against the Xenon in your mission interface. Okay, so why I was circling that 19 is just to show you that, look at this, 18, 13, 19. This means that we can almost get the trade license, which I highly, highly want. So, yeah, we, we definitely want to make sure that all of these guys are loving us. And that will just help. Also, now we are finally free of this. Let's take a look in... If we so actually missed this already. Doesn't look like it. We're still defending this area. If you fought in any way, shape, or form. Now, now we got the Baltics over here. And we made a bunch of them. I'm sure they're still being built. A few of them. No, they're not. Well, that's fine. Let's go here. Let's right-click Getsu. And we will go... Can we not trade... Great wit. Uh, get so maybe over here. Uh, okay, well, the construction ship hasn't arrived yet. It needs to arrive first before you can actually assign them. Uh, how is my trader over there? So getting to four stars. Uh, four stars. Yeah, eventually that will go. So we will be uh, building up these stations. As you can see, we are supplying these ourselves. The computer substrate is a bit. On the low side, we might need to push out one of these stations again. Uh, and we would do that probably over in Neptune. Because that's just one, two, three, four jumps away. And we can supply our own trade stations. Now that is something that you can do by just setting up prices. Uh, and just making sure your ships will go sell everything you want towards the right purpose or the right person. Uh, also, before I'm ending this episode, we're going to be building some gladiuses. Small ships. Gladius heavy fighters, high preset. Let's take a look. Um, I'm not sure if I like these at all, the May streams. They are more expensive, and I'm sure they are capable of the, a lot of damage. But I need weapons that will change with you. The barrage is good, and... Positron, balls. What kind of weapons are these actually? Let's take a look. So shield damage, but no hull damage. Okay, so these are anti-shields. And what about you? Also shield. Really? Um... Uh, assigned, okay, so assigned against unshielded targets is 400. Okay, nice. So I'd say this is good enough for these. And we will assign all of the flares. They got that. Cruise, fine enough. 2.7 million. And we need a lot of them. Uh, let's get started with... None whatsoever. Guys, I'm going to wrap the episode up here and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.